This is a black-footed ferret. Long, slinky, with big front paws. It's rare to see one during the day or in the wild. Because even though millions of these nocturnal mammals used to dart across the grasslands of North America, today they are endangered. Oh my goodness. I've come to the Toronto Zoo where black-footed ferrets are bred to be released. This is where I'm about to go off limits. I get to see them blossom as babies all the way up to adults, how they play, how smart they are. My name is Yeshi Byersbergen. I am a keeper grade two at the Toronto Zoo and I work with the black-footed ferrets. Yeshi's job is to breed black-footed ferrets and ensure they're strong and smart enough to thrive in the wild. So if you'd like to hold your little ferret. Tell me more about the breeding program. So the ferrets breed once a year and we have someone who lets us know how related they are and makes a little table for us that makes sure that we're breeding individuals that are not related so that we can get as much genetic diversity as possible. And let's wake a girl. Yeah, that is right. So we have one boy and we have three girls. How old are they? These guys are about three weeks old. The Toronto Zoo has been involved in recovering black-footed ferrets since 1992. Hundreds have been bred here. You can have the little female. She's a little bit wriggly, so make sure you hold on to her. There you go. She is wriggly. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then the little boy here. Once the kits or babies are a month old, they are ready for solids. They are fully grown at just three months. Today, I'm helping to take care of them. Black-footed ferrets are obligate carnivores, which means that they have to eat meat. So anything they can hunt and catch, they will eat. In the wild, their diet is almost exclusively prairie dogs. You want any food? <laughs> Part of the zoo's conservation breeding program is teaching the ferrets how to problem solve. So under here is basically the toy box for the ferrets. Do I get to choose his toys for today? Yep, anything you want. Okay, I like this one. Yeah. That sounds fun. Let's go with these three. Perfect. It must be distracting working here. It is, yeah. No, they're very yeah. endearing creatures. They're very curious, very inquisitive. So every time we give them a new toy, which we call enrichment, they'll come and investigate and play with it and try to figure out how to get their kibble out. When they reach a year old, it's time to test them in the wild. They do what's called a ferret boot camp. So they go to a place in Colorado and they go to outdoor pens and they get used to the elements, the weather, the sights, the sounds. And in order to pass boot camp, they have to prove that they can kill a prairie dog. 50 years ago, this species was thought to be extinct. We actually thought that they were extinct in the 70s until a small population was found by a farmer's dog, surprisingly, in 1981. Thanks to breeding programs, ferrets are surviving in the wild again, including in Saskatchewan's Grasslands National Park. What would you recommend to youth who are interested in your field? I would definitely recommend volunteering and any hands-on experience so you can get a feel for what the job entails, which is a lot of fun.